Today, we are going to review how to get beautiful high resolution thumbnails and preview images for Revit content in Avail using a tool called Preview Image Generator, aka PIG, made by our friends over at Iconic BIM. You may be familiar with PIG's ability to batch generate really nice, consistent thumbnails in Revit. By default, preview images are still pretty low res, so today we'll see how you can use PIG to produce both high res thumbnails and preview images by taking advantage of Avail's custom thumbnail feature. We'll start by going over to Revit. And under our Add Ends tab, we'll see our Preview Image Generator section. We have an option to batch generate. But before we do that, let's sneak over to our settings and open those up. And in our settings, we're not going to go through all the different functionality of PIG today. You can do a lot of really cool fine tuning uh, with how your images are generated. But I'm going to sneak over here to general settings. And there's an important checkbox that we want to include for Avail specifically, which is this export images checkbox. I'm going to select that and then sync and close. Next, I'm going to go up and select batch generate. And when I do so, I get two options. I'm going to go with the second one to load a batch of families for processing. And then I get two more choices to either save families in their existing location or to save families to a new location. I'm going to go with that one because the existing files and folders will remain untouched. I don't want to mess with my existing folder structure. All I'm looking to do is to generate these nice new images. Next, we'll select a source location. I've already selected a folder containing furniture that I want to process. And then we'll select an output location. I created a blank folder called Pig Images where I'm going to put all this fresh material that I'm processing into so it's really easy for me to access and to use. We'll click Next. And then what you'll see here is that it found 38 files total inside of that folder. 32 files were created in an earlier version of Revit, so I'll need to upgrade these if I want to process. Since I'm putting these into a new location, it's not going to be replacing my Revit files in their existing location. Um, and as mentioned before, all I'm looking to do is to get the image files that are going to be created by PIG. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's go ahead and upgrade everything, and then we'll select Run. And depending on the number of files that you're going to be processing will depend on how long this will take. I'm doing 38 right now, so not very many. It'll be done in just a minute. Uh, but if you're going to be doing a large, large batch, you know, you can set this at lunchtime and let it run over lunchtime, or at the end of the day, let it run through the evening or something like that if you're going to be doing a large volume. Um, I always recommend start with a small number just to make sure that you get um, the results that you're looking for, and then you can apply it to a bigger batch. Great, that's all wrapped up. Just took over a minute and I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm gonna grab two folders. The first folder is that output location that we had selected beforehand. If I come back here a little bit, you'll see that that pig images folder that we had selected has now been populated with content from pig. If I jump into my beds folder, I've got my updated beds along with a PNG file because we had selected to export an image uh, during the processing. So we've got these nice PNGs included as well which we're going to use as our thumbnails and preview images in Avail. So the second thing I'm going to need is the folder that I actually index my content in to Avail from. So that's this folder right here. A couple of different ways that you can do this. Uh, one thing we can do is we can go in and we could just uh, filter this down by the file type. I can grab my PNGs. I could select those, copy them, and then paste them into this folder. That might be the safest way to do it uh, because you don't risk copying over families that you don't want to update, for example. Might not be the fastest way, though, to do it. So what you can also do is um, come back a level, and I can grab all my content at once. Now I'm going to do that here, go to the same level. I'm going to select all and I'm going to copy and then come over here and paste. Now, I want to be careful with this menu specifically. If I select replace the files in the destination, it's going to replace all of my families in here as well as uh, copy over the PNG files that I want. I don't want to do that right now. I want to keep that content the same. I only want to bring over the PNGs. So I'm going to select skip these files and it'll copy over just those PNGs 
does that really quickly. I can jump in here and I can see now that there is a PNG um, sitting next to my family. And so the way that custom thumbnails work in Avail is if Avail sees a PNG or an image file of some sort of the exact same name as a family, then uh, or as any piece of content really, then Avail is going to automatically associate that image as the thumbnail and preview image for that piece of content. So if we jump back over to Avail now, I'm gonna bring up Avail. This is our channel where we had our furniture, our default thumbnails in here, the low resolution thumbnails. Now, since I've put those PNG files in place, if I refresh this channel, what I should see is immediately these nice updated images. And if I come and check out my preview image, I've got that nice high resolution image here as well. And one extra tip, if you have this content in multiple Revit versions, 2019, 2020, 2021, you can process a single time and paste the images into each folder and save a lot of time. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this leads to beautiful thumbnails and an even better user experience for your team. If you have any questions, let us know at support at getavail.com.